This year I made sure that I could be here because I view the the, 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 the faculty, the, 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 the attendees as the Mount Olympus of orthopedics. It is truly a, a five-star uh, assortment, uh, assembly of thought leaders in the field. And I have to say that coming here, I have notes galore for ideas and the amount of information that's here is really impressive. I go to a lot of meetings. I'm, I'm on the presidential track for the International Cartilage Repair Society, which also is one of my you know, big attendings, that, I mean, societies that I go to. I also go to the Orthopedic Research Society every year. But this particular meeting is so interactive and so dynamic in its amount of information for what I do that I really feel like I, I, would, I would love to continue to come if I'm invited, <laughs> of course primarily interested in regenerative medicine. I mean, that has really been a consistent theme in my lab, and I, so I do everything from uh, stem cell differentiation and, and applications of cellular therapies uh, to cell biomaterial tissue engineering concepts, and then recently our lab has fully engaged in this new uh, paradigm-shifting technology of 3D bioprinting. 3D bioprinting can allow you to imagine anything that you can think of as a structure or as, as intricate as um, a, a, an organ, for instance, a, a, an organ like the kidney, or even uh, we're working now on making 3D bioprinting a lymph node, which is a series of different cell types and different layers and so forth. At the end of the day, it's all about making our patients heal faster, uh, regenerate their parts that they need and to reduce any kind of uh, prolonged complications from surgery.